any time that we are privileged to host an eddy contest out on the North Shore in Waimea Bay, it's a historic day. This one particularly is our, our first one in probably a long time, and I'm not sure if ever that the event falls on a Sunday. So just by virtue of that, the availability of people being off on Sundays and being able to attend the eddy is gonna be far greater than any of the past we've seen in 2016 and 2011. So considering that in advance, we do anticipate that access to the very remote Waimea Bay is going to be fairly trafficked, highly congested, and difficult. So with that in mind, um, the city has provided extra trips in the morning, and what we'd like to do is, if anybody would like to get out to the eddy early, we're gonna be providing some very early, early morning services via the bus, via our Route 52, which travels from Ala Moana, and the special trips we're adding will go all the way to Waimea Bay. So those trips will depart Ala Moana Center at 4.30, 5 a.m., 5.30 a.m., and 6 a.m., and travel from Ala Moana Center, stopping at all stops, including the Alapa'i Transit Center, the Kalihi Transit Center, where there is a park and ride at Middle Street. It'll go via freeway to the Mililani Park and Ride, where there's an ample amount of stalls, uh, pass through the Mililani Transit Center and the Wahiwa Transit Center and Park and Ride. Again, parking is available in Wahiwa at that site, and then on to Haleiwa and Waimea Bay. Following that, we will be running shuttles between Haleiwa and Weed Circle to Waimea Bay back and forth to traverse that distance. So should anyone find parking anywhere at beach parks or at any other place they can find parking on the North Shore, they can feel free to board one of those buses. Holo cards help, paying with fares, cash is still accepted. Um, we will be running those shuttles all day and hope to help contribute to people getting to the eddy safely. And with that in mind, we are worried about everyone getting there safely, but we are also worried about every, everyone getting home safely. So partnered with our state partners at the state DOT, we want everybody to have a safe and comfortable experience getting to the eddy. It might be difficult, it might be a long ride. Just plan in advance and be ready for some traffic out there. Thank you. Irrespective of whether or not the contest is run on Sunday, we can expect from an ocean safety perspective to see uh, what looks to be a large swell uh, the kind of swell that you see maybe uh, a couple of times a winter or maybe even only every five or six years. Uh, so we're uh, very excited, uh, obviously, from an ocean safety perspective. And um, the same messages that we normally would, uh, would send out apply, you know, know your limits and so forth and so on. However, generally speaking, we know that crowd heading for country for an eddy uh, is generally wanting to watch the action and maybe not necessarily get into the water themselves. So from an ocean safety perspective, we're a little less worried about believe it or not, about the water side, and a little bit more worried about the highway. Um, the other agencies are mentioning some of the uh, actions that have been taken for Kamehameha Highway, and we just want to remind the public as first responders that our way in uh, to get someone out who may be hurt is, is on that very same highway. So please abide by all of the direction from HPD, from the event organizers, and from all the other departments that are involved today. We do ask that people remember that this is not just an athletic event. This is a, a tribute in honor of one of our most famous lifeguards at the city and county who risked his life year after year to rescue people. And we want to ask people to please be respectful of his memory and the fact that this is also a cultural event. If you can be respectful of the, if you go out to the area, uh, the residents that live in the area, people that need to get traffic to, to go by to do their errands or to reach their loved ones on Saturday you know, or Sunday to go to church. So please make sure you park in appropriate locations. Uh, keep the road clear. When you're in the park, please use the rubbish cans. We're gonna have extra porta potties and extra pumping at the comfort stations. So we'll have a lot of facilities for people. There is no concessions out there though. So we ask that people do bring their own food and again, if you can pack your trash out with you, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, we also ask that people engage responsibly and do not drink or do drugs or do any behavior that's gonna create a safety issue for the folks that are around you. We want people to be able to enjoy the event safely and go home safely. And then for those of you uh, who are fans of crowds, there will be streaming services and we've been putting that out online so people can access the event and watch it um, without having to deal with the traffic or other things. 
I'd like to start off with thanking the mayor and the Governor Green for all of their support. I'd like to thank everybody, especially Hawaii and Hawaii's people, for their support for the Eddy. It's been a long adventure for the family. We haven't had the event since 2016. For whatever reason, COVID, not enough swells. It goes on and on. But we've been tracking this swell for the last three weeks. And this is the first time that all of our forecasters, both around the world and locally, have come and agreed, and we're all on the same table on this swell. The wind conditions will be fantastic coming out of Waimea Bay Valley. The direction of our swell is gigantic, and it's coming from a westerly direction, and it's coming right into Waimea Bay. We're looking at a slow start in the morning of Sunday. Yes, the eddy will go on Sunday. We're looking at a slow start for probably the first two heats, but after that, it's gonna be building. And we're in the afternoon especially, we're looking at waves at 25 feet Hawaiian. On a national scale, that's 50 feet. And we may get some 30 footers local scale and 60 foot national scale. Um, again, it's been a long journey for the family. We haven't had the event for, uh, all the way back until 216. But um, I just wanted to make one mention very quickly. Thank you, Waimea Falls, for all of your help and Kokua um, manager, Richard, Pezulo, Waimea Bay will have parking for the public and they are providing a huge amount of chairs and food for the Eddie Aikau Foundation. We appreciate that. And again, thank you everybody for your support.